Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another special nighttime episode. Tonight's a really fun. Uh, HOA and I have set up lights and our table and everything out here. We're actually in between the two studio buildings, hoping to get some protection from Gail, who seems to be absent thus far. <laughs> Why did you say that? I don't know. I'm crazy. The other reason tonight is really special is I am doing a collaboration with my friend Dominic Sherl from Dominic Sherl Fluid Art, and we are doing our big relaxing blue and purple <laughs> collaboration. So we're both using big canvases. I'm using a 36 by 36 inch canvas and we are using blues and purples tonight. So I'll show you my colors and then we're gonna, we're also using my 36 ounce split cup from Spontaneous Creations from Brian, which I'm really, really excited about using. So I'll show you the colors, we'll layer that up, I'll bring the canvas over and we'll get started. So this first one is Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. Now my paint tonight started off being mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol, but my Floetrol was not as thick as I wanted it to be, so the thickest thing that I could think of to add was actually some mix. So I have added a little bit of mix to all of these, and it has thickened them up beautifully. So this is our Dioxazine Purple, leaving a mound on a mound, and then melting onto itself. Okay, the next one we're using is Golden's Prussian Blue, which is one of my favorite colors and I haven't used it in a while. And that's also leaving a mound on a mound and then sinking into itself. Okay, the next one we're using is Arteza's Glacier Blue, which I love this color. Very, very pretty, very dreamy, a little bit of sparkle to it. Okay. The next one we have is Golden Cerulean Blue, which is awesome. Lots of blue. <laughs> and I have one more, even. Uh, this one is Amsterdam Expert Series Indigo. And um, that's gorgeous. Ooh, let me mix that up just a bit more. Okay, so this gets actually really, really dark when it's dry. It's almost black, which is really, really nifty. I love that. So we have all these three blues. We have the Indigo, the Glacier Blue, the Prussian Blue, and our Cerulean Blue. So those are the blues that we're using. And then I have my Dioxazine Purple, and I also have my Golden's Permanent Violet Dark, which is awesome. So this is the other purple that we're using in addition to the Dioxazine, and then I have some Amsterdam, oh, yeah, Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with a little bit of DecoArt Satin Enamels Pure White. And then I have my 24 karat gold. Okay. So all of these are mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and the paint and Floetrol and some mix also to thicken them up. This magnificent vessel is a 36 by 36 inch split cup. It's got four chambers and this was made by Spontaneous Creations by Brian Ward and he sent it to me. Such a nice guy. So Brian. We're going to play with it again. All right, so we're going to layer this thing. And I have my 36 by 36 inch canvas. I have taped the back and put the push pins in. And I have painted the edges and the sides already. It's still drying a little bit. And I can't do both of these things at once. So let's layer the cup first. OK, let's see. Um, we're not going to get real fancy with this, but I am going to put a few different colors in each chamber. We're going to put a little bit of white in the bottom of this one. Not a lot. I'm going to come into the Prussian blue. And then we're going to go into some glacier blue. For me, this is actually one of the most fun parts of pouring, is layering the cup. And just seeing how it's all. Ooh, it might be kind of a dirty cup. <laughs> Okay, we're going to put some more white on there. And we're going to put some gold on the other side of that. And I'm going to use some of my permanent violet dark. Okay, so that chamber is pretty full. I'm going to use the permanent violet dark in the bottom of the next chamber. Okay, and we're going to put some glacier blue on top of that. Go into that cerulean blue. Okay. 
And I'm gonna put some of our dioxazine purple in there. And let's put some more white in there. Oops, put a little bit on this side. Dark on top of that again. And some more gold. I'm going to come into, let's put a little bit of indigo on top. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's put some glacier blue in the bottom of the next one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put some Prussian blue on top of the glacier. And then let's put a tiny bit of white on there. And I'm going to come in with my dioxazine purple. Cerulean blue. A little white. And some gold. And another layer of Prussian blue. last chamber, let's put some of the indigo on the bottom. And then some of the glacier blue. really on top. Okay. So not the neatest cup in the world. I'm going to move these inside and bring out my base coat color. Okay, all the way there. Now this one is Modern Masters Shimmering Sky, I think it's called. Kind of a light blue shimmery color. And I found the Modern Masters paint on Amazon in a 32 ounce bottle. It wasn't that expensive for 32 ounces of paint. It's actually pretty good. So, but sometimes when I use that paint, it looks a little muddy. So I've been using it as a base coat flow extender rather than one of the colors in my cup. Okay, so this is the 36 by 36. We seem to be having a problem with this one being slightly warped, which I'm not happy about, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. Okay, so I'm going to take some of the Shimmering Sky, and we're going to put it down along this edge. And I'm going to kind of spread that out a little bit, and we're going to pour in there and then use more flow extender. Okay, I'm just going to spread it out along this edge. Okay. 
Because what I want to happen is as we're pouring this this way, I want to have more of a puddle over there so that as I tilt it, it can slide down that way. All right. So let's take our cup. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I am, my love. I am. My love. Okay. So I want to do a serpentine pour, which is a wandering ring pour, but kind of in an S shape. So we're going to go back and forth with the wandering ring pour, if I can hold on to this thing, because it's pretty heavy. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna start about over here. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that's pretty heavy. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna take what's left in here and kind of go along the edges, these corners, get some paint over here. Okay, move this inside. So, so far, this is perfect because it's right at the edge. All right, let's uh. Let's tilt, let's put some of this down over here as a nice line of flow extender. Okay, let's give this a go. Are you ready, darling? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's heavy. So we've got some pretty cool composition here. Hopefully this will work the way that I wanted it to. I'm gonna take it down that way a little bit. And then we're gonna shift the weight this way and go down this way a little bit. And then we're gonna take it down again. We're rolling over a little bit there on the bottom, but that's okay. I'm gonna take this one this way. down there on that corner. Okay, now we're gonna go off that edge. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it back this way. And let it float down and cover that bottom corner. thing is I think I like this part better than this part but I do need to go over that corner a little bit and I wouldn't mind taking some of this off so we're just gonna very gently go off that edge get the weight of the paint down there again it was pretty much there tell me when it's rolling over each other okay Are you going over yet so I don't want to be dripping on the floor. Huh? No. It's not rolling over? Where the paint's over there. It's coming down. I see it's it. It's over there. Okay. I'm going to go off this side now. This corner. didn't 
quite make it over the edge here. <laughs> back this way a little bit bring the weight of the paint over here okay and I'm just gonna shove it off the edge real quick What do you think about the part about down there at the bottom? Is that cool or is that weird? No, I think it's cool. It's funny, in the beginning I didn't like that, but now I like that part. I'm not sure if I like all of this. I'm not crazy about that corner over there. Really? Yeah. That's me. I'm not crazy about all of this gold in here. All right. I'm going to take some of this down. the weight of the paint going towards that edge, that corner. And I'm going to take it over the edge. And now it's covering our side. We're going to take off the corner that HOA doesn't like. This way. Open up that top edge. Okay. Look at this for a second. I thought you were trying to get that gold off of there. Yeah, well, I'm thinking about that now. float down a little bit till we get the weight of the paint about here and then we might be able to get some of that off. take quite a bit of that off actually. Still a lot of gold in this one section, but for the most part, I like it a lot. I'm going to wipe my hands off real quick and torch it.
this, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason that I have a big, huge torch, because that would have taken forever with the tiny creme brulee torch. Okay. So, this is actually looking really neat. I really like what's going on. I kind of love that edge down there at the bottom closest to you, HOA, with the blues and the purples, how it's stretched out, and I love that dioxazine purple with the cells popping up through it. You see some cerulean over here with some gold in it and a little bit of the dioxazine and a little bit of the permanent violet dark. There's still a lot of gold here for me, but I like everything else that's happening. I love this corner. Um, I see a lot of the glacier blue. I don't see a lot of white and it did what I wanted it to do. And it seems like since we put mix in there, there's some beautiful transparency happening which is kind of awesome. I've got some beautiful cells coming up in through here. I love that dark indigo next to the cerulean with the gold and the permanent violet dark. That's really cool. So overall, there's about 90% of this that I love. Just not crazy about this. I don't hate it, but I don't, I'm not crazy about it. But this is actually very, very pretty where there's that permanent violet dark and the indigo and the gold on top of that is really cool. And these lines kind of are neat. So, this is cool. And guess what, HOA? I'm not going to use a marble. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like it. I like it how it is. So, this is kind of awesome. Um, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, make sure you guys check out Dominic Sherl Fluid Art. I will link his channel for you up here and also in the description box so you can check out what his collaboration pour and our big relaxing blues and purples and his nice big canvas that he's using also. He's so funny. He's such a sweet guy and uh, I love his artwork. He loves to use big canvases like I do so I'm really excited about today. Um, this is kind of fun. Awesome. I will show you guys when it's dry. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, this is a few days later now. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love how this piece turned out. It's just really graphic and really I love the very clean lines and the definition between the lines and I love this transparency in here and these colors for some reason the permanent violet is showing up very pink on camera but it is actually purple more purple than that but I really this is just I wasn't sure I liked it at first but now it kind of reminds me of like feathers and a ceremonial headdress I think it's really, really neat. What do you want, Zen? Zen is <laughs> smacking me with his tail. <laughs> but this is really cool. This is where we took off a lot of gold. But I like there the gold that's there. And I love this corner. This, the color up in here right now, where there's that dioxazine purple with the cerulean blue and the gold cells coming up. And then the permanent violet dark with the gold, like this color that it makes, that sort of burgundy maroon, is just so pretty. So, gorgeous lines. Love the colors. I love this bottom part. There you go. <laughs> What's the matter, Zen? <laughs> Anyways, this is awesome. So this is gonna be our headdress, ceremonial headdress. And uh, this was our big relaxing blue and purple collaboration with Dominic Sherl from Dominic Sherl Fluid Art. And uh, his video is right after mine. So please go check him out. Check out his channel. Hit that like and subscribe button because he's awesome. He loves to do these big canvases and it's just, his stuff is so beautiful. So this was really, really cool and really, really fun. And I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you guys all so much for being here with us. <laughs> And Zen. And uh, we'll see you real soon. Bye bye.
do you think, Zen? <laughs> I love how that 24 karat gold glows.